Welcome back at 616. The decision to put a parent in a nursing home can be a heart-wrenching one for many. Picking the wrong one could mean abuse or neglect. And joining us now with ways to ease that burden is North Texas lawyer Jeff Rosansky. Good morning to you. Good morning, Betty. How are you? I'm doing all right. As a lawyer, you come across a number of nursing home uh, abuse cases, that is. And in the, is the care in nursing homes getting any better, or is it, in fact, getting worse? Betty, over the last five or six years, we've really seen care in nursing homes stay about the same. We are concerned about the future, though. We do know that many more of our population are aging, and because of that, they're going to be placed in nursing homes. We also know that there's a shortage of nurses, and corporations are continuing to put profits over patient care and underpaying their staff, so we can expect to see um, worse problems in the future. All right, that being the case, if a person has to put a loved one in a nursing home, what's the best way to pick the best nursing home? Betty, we do lots of research to buy a car or a home or other products. We need to do the same type of research and be vigilant about picking a nursing home. We need to visit the nursing home unannounced. We need to talk to the director of nurses. We need to ask tough questions. What kind of problems do you have? Are family members here happy? Talk to residents. Go look at the nursing home. Smell it. Does the nursing home smell, pass the smell test, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two different types. There's a nonprofit and a for-profit nursing home. Is there a difference between the two when it comes to care? Absolutely. Betty, in my experience, we have seen that the nonprofit nursing homes in the North Texas area have substantially better reviews by the state than really? the for-profit corporations. Why do you think that is? It's pretty simple. We don't have corporations that are placing profits above patient care when we have nonprofits they are spending their money on patient care, hiring quality nurses that can take care of the patients. All right. That being the case, if someone is interested in getting information on nonprofit nursing homes or just finding them, where can they go? One of the best places and sources of information that we have is going to the Internet. There are lots of sites that talk about nursing homes and compare them. My nursing home site, Nursing Home Lawyer, provides all that information. Okay. Now, let's talk about the folks who have relatives already in nursing homes. How can you determine if the care that they're getting is indeed good care? Betty, there's lots of things that people need to do. For one, talk to your loved one. Ask them if they have any complaints of pain that they, that they didn't have yesterday. Mm -hmm. Make sure you visit regularly. Make sure that you come at different times of the day and know the staff. Make sure that you ask questions. Most importantly, do a head-to-toe assessment of your loved one. It's not unusual for nursing home staff to miss bed sores. Look under the cover, look under the gowns, and make sure your residents are doing okay. Let's talk about the state for, for a bit here. Does it control, how does it monitor these nursing homes? We've got a great system. The Texas De Department of Human Services conducts surveys at least once a year, if not more often, and they write survey reports. These survey reports are available to the public for public inspection. All you have to do is call the Texas Department of Human Services and say, I'm going to XYZ Nursing Home. Can you send me a copy of the latest survey? As easy as that. All right. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. And again, we want to tell our viewers that if you want some more information on nursing homes, you can just log on to our website at CBS11TV.com and click on news links. Thank you. Thanks, Betty.